In this video, we'll look at the chemical formula and the structural formula for N-butanol. This is also called 1-butanol. So we have this table of common functional groups that we see in organic chemistry, and we see OL. When something ends in OL, it's an alcohol. That means it's going to have this R, which means the rest of the molecule, but we'll have an OH group. So we know that because of this OL, it's an alcohol, we're going to have an OH group. We can also see that this is derived from butane which has four carbons. So we're going to have four carbons and we're going to have an alcohol group on it, an OH. And because it's N, that's normal, also called 1-butanol, the alcohol group is going to be on the end. So let's write the chemical formula. So we have our carbon and we know that we're going to have four carbon atoms. We also know we'll have hydrogen atoms because it's an alcohol. We don't know how many, but we do know that this OL means there'll be an OH group on the end. So we just need to figure out the number of hydrogen atoms, and then we'll have the formula for N-butanol. There's two ways we could do this. One, we could just draw the structure, and then each carbon will have four things bonded to it. We could figure out the hydrogens that way, or we could use this formula. So this formula works for simple alcohols like N-butanol. We know we have four carbons, and then hydrogen, we have two times N, that's the four, plus one, then we have OH on the end. So 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1, C4H9OH. That's the formula for N-butanol. But let's take a look at the structural formula for N-butanol and then look at it in three dimensions. So here's our structural formula. We have our 1, 2, 3, 4 carbons. We have our OH group here on the end. And if you count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 hydrogens. So this is the structural formula for N-butanol, also called 1-butanol. Another way chemists write this to show the shape of the molecule is like this. So here we have carbons here, one, two, three, four, and then we have our alcohol group here on the end. We don't write these hydrogens. We know carbon is bonded to four things, so we would fill the hydrogens in there pretty easily. If we looked at this in three dimensions, this is what we'd see. The carbons are black, the hydrogens are white, and then our oxygen down there, that's red. So you see we have one, two, three, four carbons with the OH group on the end, and we call it N-butanol because the alcohol is on the end. So this would be carbon one if you called it 1-butanol. But if you had it this way, you'd still call it 1-butanol because it's on the end here. We want to keep the numbers as low as possible. So it's still called 1-butanol. Finally, let's wrap up and look at the surface of the molecule. And we can see the red, that's more negative, the blue's more positive. So we do have this polar end because of the alcohol here. That means that this area here is a little bit more negative, the blue, that's more positive. So having that OH that makes this an alcohol gives this a polar end to the molecule. This is Dr. B with the chemical and structural formula for butanol, N-butanol. Thanks for watching.